Bestest Kid here. What is up, you guys? I'm going to be showing you how to make my thumbnails. Now, if you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe because I make hilarious content and I'm going to start showing you some good tutorials on how to get free stuff. Alright, so now let's get on to the video. Alright, so how I start off with my every thumbnail is I go to new and I have my width, height, and you want your width at 1280 and then you want your height at 720 and you want your resolution at 300 alright then you start that off alright now what you have here is a gradient tool sorry I did that I messed it up but this gradient tool is what you're going to be using to make your colors you pick your colors right here and you go like that and that's how you start it off and you just pick one that looks nice to you and that looks good so then you go down here to new you press this little button thing or you could go up here to like new slide or something new yeah no nope. something I don't know but I like going down here it's a lot easier then you go up to filter click on it go up to filter go to render and go to clouds now it may look different so you go over to overlay and you go to control E. You click both of them and you press control E and that will combine them together to make one layer. Then you go to filter, you go to distort, you go to wave. Now I already have my thing set up because I do. Okay. Now you can either have it on cine or square doesn't matter but you go to 63 64 for wavelength and then amplitude you want 132 or 133 both of them it doesn't matter and then number of generators you want 299 and I think I'm going to go with this one so now what you're going to do is you're going to go to filter again just store you're gonna go to wave. I mean, not wave. You're gonna go to polar cornor. Cornor. Don't even know it. Co don't ask that. I can't say that. All right. Then you're gonna turn it into this. Now you guys are just saying, "Oh, that's still just a plain old thumbnail." Now, I'm going to link the textures I use in the description to where you could use them. All right. So, what you're going to, you're gonna, you're gonna want to have this texture right here. Texture 9. You're going to cover the whole picture. You're going to press check mark and then you're like, and then you go over here to overlay. And then that's all right there. Then you can you can bind those together. All right. Now you got now that you got that and your and your uh the thumbnail background is looking fucking spectacular. Now you go over to the text. Now, I'm just going to name this the Photoshop one, but if you had a logo, here I'll show you if you have a logo. If you have a logo, do 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 do. Alright, if you have like this Call of Duty logo, god damn it. Gotta get out of the text, sorry about that. Say you have this Call of Duty logo. So what you would do is you would get, let's go back to the stuff. You would put, for example, this blue fabric all the way over the Call of Duty logo. Then you would press, wait, no. Then you go over to Hue and Saturation. Click that little button right there. You have to click this button or else you're fucked. Click that button. And then you... Oh, shit. Turn this into a clipping mask. And as you can tell, the Call of Duty is covered, right? You combine those together. You combine the Call of Duty logo together. Oh, wait. Nee, fuck. Well, you don't combine the Call of Duty logos until you press overlay and then you combine them. Sorry about that, but, um, alright. 
So let's get on to the Photoshop. I'll actually do it right when I spell Photoshop, alright? Wait, no, I'm just gonna name it Professional. I don't even think that's. I don't even know if that's how you spell fucking professional. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm a horrible speller. Always have been. Alright, alright, got it. Alright, let's change the text to 50, 60. Now, I have a couple style of texts here. Just, I pick which one that looks best on it. You want to pick one that really pops. I think I'm going to go with green. And let's mess with the effects. Okay, so this is what I do. I do inner glow. My gradient overlay. I do a darker shade. Same darker shade. And then right in the middle, a lighter, gray, a lighter shade. Then, I don't know why I have it on 18. But I drop it down to 10 because still making it look like it pop and then professional thumb nails and then we're gonna add yeah just professional I'm gonna add YouTube right there so we're gonna go to yellow I'm joking Alright. Alright. Professional thumbnail. Now we're just going to add YouTube. I just need to put this up at the top because YouTube's going to be the bigger text. YouTube. Then, boom. One second. Alright, now you got yourself a good looking YouTube thumbnail. Now this is mainly for gaming setups. And actually I'm going to use this one as the thumbnail because it looks really, really nice. Now, alright, just I just name it as random shit. I don't know why. Okay, now, what you would do for like Call of Duty, these are the ones that I use for like Call of Duty, stuff like that because it, it's, it's, Actually, I'll show you a couple ways. A couple ways. Alright, so... You... Yeah, fuck. I, sorry, guys, I'm horrible at this stuff, but... Here's one way that I actually... I actually make my thumbnails. So, here's one. Oh, no. Color overlay. Then I pick a good color that I want. think I'll go with, uh... I'll go with a purple. Alright, now, we'll go with, hmm, GTA 5. Alright, so say we're making a GTA 5 funny moments montage, and it had something to do with ships, alright? Now, I drag that there. Now you guys are thinking, what's the point of the purple? Overlay. Okay, it looks good. It's looking real good. Then you control, control E. Now you got that. Now what I would do is, yeah, sorry. I I just can't talk today. I'm really sorry about that, guys. All right. Now what I do next is I type it. Wait, ah, cause I I have I love fucking Grand Theft Auto V. Fun game, but after a while it does get boring. But I still love the fuck out of that game. Now, Grand Theft Auto V logos. We'll pick. Fuck, dude. Every time I do something like this, it always fucks over for me because it hates me. Alright, because 
We want to match it with the logo, right? Alright. Now, you would add funny moments. Then we'd make it blue. Alright, now, you guys are probably bored and not do wondering what the fuck I'm doing, but this is really helpful for s a lot of YouTubers. And then, it could be like a big gigantic fucking troll, and then, pick a troll face you like, I like this Deadpool one. And then, bam, you got yourself a good looking a good looking one. Now if you're doing walkthroughs, um, that's a whole different story because I'm going to start those. Now, what I do for walkthroughs is totally different from what other people do. This is what I do for walkthroughs. Okay, that was off. Nope. Alright, Outlast. So say I was do making another Outlast video tomorrow, alright? What I would do is I would, because I think this looks really good, is I'd either add this or this. Like this, I used on Goat Simulator, and that looked really good. But what I'd do is I'd do this, and I'd put Outlast Scary Moment. Ah, moments. But I'm going to have to cut each letter out because it looks a lot better. So we would go with white. And let's go with 70. No, six, no 60. All right. Outlast. Scary. Moments. Now, if you guys are asking, what's this white thing for? That's for your logo, so people know it's your thumbnail. So, what I do is I go down to here. Where the fuck is it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I go down to here and I pick any one of these four. So, say I wanted, I'll just do the best of this kid one. Because I'm probably going to start adding that to my videos as well. So if people steal them, they know it's mine, bitch. But there you go. There is a well-suited thumbnail for your YouTube channel. And that's perfect for walkthroughs. And you guys, I hope you guys enjoy this way on how to make very good thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Um, I don't know. Do you guys, I honestly don't know what else. Uh, you guys leave down tutorial thoughts that you want me to make for you guys to help you guys grow on YouTube, and I will certainly do that. So, hope you guys enjoy, peace out, and have a wonderful day. Subscribe if you're new, and yep, bye. Yeah.